given me confidence, a booster for the half marathon, knowing that I haven't done them reps, you know, any reps for well over a year. Hi, I'm Chris, and welcome to part two of the weekly training vlog, training for the Farnborough Half Marathon and the Brighton Marathon. We're down in Worthing, on the pier, it's grey, it's drizzling and it's very very windy but I'm thinking well what happened to part one well if you haven't watched it it was me going on a trail run and getting lost that was yesterday end up running 14 and a half miles and to be honest wasn't hundred percent sure what I was gonna do today or how I was gonna feel so as I said on that video I'm gonna be mixing things up slightly this week by changing days and adding in some 1k repeats which we'll be doing on Friday um, but we'll talk about that um, when we get to Friday and hopefully, fingers crossed, my dad will be filming that but I haven't asked him yet so we'll see how that one goes. So today's run, um, in my head I was thinking maybe six miles. Right, I will speak to you when I get back. So run done, stuck to the plan, six miles, end up running at 8.20 pace. But I thought I'd play it safe, you know, there's no point in being stupid. That's about 20 miles or just under in two days, but the number I need to look at is time on feet, because that's three hours, 10 minutes, which is a lot longer than I'm used to. So definitely gonna take tomorrow off, because I think it's important to give my legs time to recover. Um, especially that I'm doing that speed session, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, also, I found over the last week or so, definitely getting stronger. I remember before that I get to about eight miles and feel fatigued. That doesn't seem to be happening anymore. I feel a lot stronger up the hill. So things are going well and really excited to, you know, turn up on the start line and smash that target of sub 88 minutes. But most importantly, I will speak to you on, I believe Friday, it all depends when my dad's free, because we're going to be doing a speed session and I haven't done one of them in a long time, shall we say. All right, roll on Friday. Morning, so it's Friday, fantastic news. My dad's agreed to film on his bike, which obviously makes for a little bit better content. So we're going for six 1k repeats with three minutes recovery um hoping to run them about 330 per k i remember doing that session a couple of years ago i don't know if i'm in that sort of shape now but i know i'm somewhere between 330 and 340 but we just go off at that pace and see how we get on all right so what shoes am i wearing i had a choice between three shoes which was um endorphin pro 2 Love this shoe, uh, very natural to run in, very light on foot, good grip, um, but I'm saving this one for my Farnborough Half Marathon and the Brighton Marathon because I love this shoe, very comfortable, don't never get any niggles in this one. The, only, the other one was um, 361 Flame. Um, on paper, pretty much the same um, kind of quickness, I run the same time on 5k over, over on the park run and not much difference between the two. Uh, the only difference is this one's a bit firmer on the ride, a bit more poppier, just feels a bit quicker. So I think this is a good option um, to do speed sessions in. My only other one that I got that I've had for some time, I ended up buying three of them off eBay, really cheap, about 45, 50 quid each, was this. This is the Zoom Fly 1. Uh, I think it's about 2016, 2017. This is the SP version, very lightweight, not much to it, see-through, fantastic looking shoe. So I've got this in three colorways and I did actually run my fastest 5K of 17.56, I believe, in this shoe a couple of years ago. So technology hasn't come along that way. Yes, probably over the longer distance, it probably comes into its own play, but this is a shoe, um, that I do love. It's a bit wet outside. Perfect day though, because it's dry now, no wind, about 10 degrees. The shoe I'm gonna go with is the 361 Flame. Right, I'm gonna get ready, and I'm gonna meet my dad, and let's smash out this session. 
Right, so the video you're watching now is actually the last rep. Um, with my dad filming on the bike. I thought this was the best one to upload and I'd just be talking through it while you're watching it. So it's always good to see the last one when I'm struggling. So the reps, we didn't measure out the course. We just guesstimated that from one end of the straight to the other, it might be about a K. We ended up guesstimating slightly wrong and ended up having to run around the corner. So where you saw at the start of the video, we're in a kind of uh, residential estate and then we head on to a, a nice really nice flat bit of road and depending on which way I went would well, have the wind behind me or against me so I knew that the sessions two four and six were going to be slightly harder because I would have the wind against me so how did it go well the first one was at 336 in my head I would like to run them all at 330 and the reason being for that is that Previously, probably a couple of years ago, because I haven't done reps in well over a year, I've run them, I think in my mind, at 3.30 for six. Might have been wrong, but who knows. But the VDOT calculator said to me that I should do reps at 3.30, but I should do intervals at 3.45 per kilometre. So a little bit of a kind of grey area, because 1K is sort of in between the kind of two. So I knew it was going to be around about the 1.35. So the first one, okay, we got that one done. Then the next one got slightly quicker at 3.34. I think sometimes it just takes you a little while to kind of warm up. And then once I'm fully warmed up on the third one at 3.32, then I managed to do another one at 3.32. And then the next one was at 3.30. So obviously progressed slightly. The last one, I was kind of thinking to myself, I'd like to, you know, run faster and end on a, you know, the quickest one out of all of them. I gave everything I got. The last one, I say slightly into the wind, so it's slightly harder, but obviously looking at the other reps, they're all pretty much the same. So no excuse there. Didn't have any more in the tank, but still managed to run an average, or not an average, run that one in 3.33. So an average of 3.33 for all of them. More than chuffed with that. I say I can't ask for any more. It's given me confidence, a booster for the half marathon, knowing that I haven't done them reps you know any reps for well over a year so it just shows that doing the the kind of slower base miles aerobic runs and throwing in that kind of park run once a week it keeps you your kind of speed there so that's good to know because they were they are tough i must admit when i got to about halfway i thought to myself i don't even know if i can manage to do you know six but I think that's where that mental tough come, toughness comes in. And then you remember how difficult you're breathing when you're doing that park run and you're really pushing. So I also want to thank my dad filming and agreeing to do it. He had a bit of a cold, so it was amazing to have him, him there because without him, honestly, I don't think that I'd be able to do it. Right, I'm going to take tomorrow off and I will speak to you on Sunday. So just back from the run, very windy out there today. It's Sunday, week done and dusted. We'll talk about my run in a second. So I was thinking back to when I did the 1K repeats and I looked back from my training because I wanted to find out if I'd actually done uh, six at 3.30 pace. And so I found some training that I did on my videos. It was two years ago and I did run an average of 3.30s with the three minutes recovery in between each session. But I only actually did five. So think back to what I did this week, you know, six averaging 3.30 with a three minutes recovery. I'm actually in better shape than I thought, which is, you know, amazing news. And, you know, it puts me in good stead for this race. So have you got a favorite interval session? Let me know down in the comments. All right, so today's run, I had around about 10 and a half miles to finish off another 40 mile week. So I thought I'd just stick with that. Um, managed to do 10.6 miles at 8.09 pace. And it's a good time on my feet this week. Another 40 mile week, done and dusted, five in a row. We all know that consistency is king. And honestly can't wait for this half marathon. You know, I'm feeling great, I'm in great shape. And there's only one way up from here and that's onwards and upwards. Speak to you soon. Cheers!